Luncheon, and my name is Doug Stewart. Right now, we're talking to Cedric Pearl, head coach of the Central State Marauders. How are you doing, coach? Doing all right. How about you? Good, good, coach. Uh, second year uh, for the program in the SIC. Last year, you guys had some limited success, a huge win over Miles College, a team that actually played in the championship game. Uh, what's the mentality going forward this year, and what are you trying to implement as far as psychology for your players, knowing that you're a newer program? Well, the biggest thing is, and that's what we've been trying to do, is uh, put our footprint on the program. Uh, we want to change the philosophy and the culture. And the biggest thing that we've been talking about with our kids is that we're going to have some values that we're going to adhere to. And we're always talking about being focused, being disciplined, being committed, and being consistent. And we think if we follow those uh, values, we'll, we'll, we'll turn the program around where we need to get it to be going in the right direction. Now, it's only your second year in the SIC, but Correct. Central State has a tremendous history in college football, especially in HBCU football. Um, how much pride do you see around campus, around former alumni coming back to, to watch you guys play? How, how exciting is it for you know the fans of the program? Tremendous amount of pride, and, and that's the thing that you talk that a lot of the alumni talk about the glory days of the 90s uh, when they won the two national NAIA championships under Coach Billy Joe and also won under uh, Coach uh, Rick Comagy. Uh The guys have been great, the old former players. I got a chance to meet Hugh Douglas a couple of weeks ago at, a, at a, you know, an alumni event. Uh, he's been real supportive and uh, we're just excited. Obviously, we want to get the program going back in that direction, but it's going to take some time and uh, it's going to take some work, but we're up for the challenge. I think one of the schools, uh, the furthermost schools from the conference, uh, traditionally when you're talking about Southeastern teams, you guys being in the Midwest, up north, um, does that kind of lend itself to helping and recruiting? You get a lot of guys from that area that really aren't associated tightly with uh, black college football, but they know about it enough and it's intriguing, I would think, right? It's, it's surprising that you said that because uh, we, we found that out going out spring recruiting this year. Uh, reintroducing Central State to a lot of areas that they possibly hadn't recruited in a long time. And uh, we've got a great reception in Cleveland, Toledo, uh, uh, Columbus, and Cincinnati. Uh, Reintroducing re re ourselves to the coaches in the high school coaches in the area because we have to establish a relationship too. But also the kids were excited about hearing about Central and because uh, we were without football for about 10 years and we brought it back in 2005. So that lends itself to some of it too, but we're doing a good job of whenever we can to publicize the program. What's been your, uh, your your preaching point, per se, to your kids on, on how you guys are going to get better and win more games? Well, that's what I talked about earlier, being focused. Uh, you got to know what your priorities are. And, and the main one is to graduate from school. But obviously, all athletes want to win. And to do that, you have to be disciplined. You have to be doing what you're supposed to be doing, when you're supposed to be doing it. And then that commitment to yourselves and your teammates in the university and the program. And if we're consistent at all those, we think we're going to get it turned around. You guys, uh, you guys got a couple of players that's coming back this year, in particular Zach Thomas, the tight end. Mm -hmm. um, talk about him. How much is he, is he going to uh, input into the program this year? And maybe another guy on offense that, that you look for big things from this year in 2014. Yeah, we really do. I was surprised by Zach. Zach uh, won a few days in spring ball. Uh, he had a broke jaw. The doctor hadn't released him, but since I was a new coach, you know, he just started practicing. And then once I found out from the trainer, coach, he shouldn't be practicing. And uh, we pulled him off the field, and I had to talk to him. And those are the kind of guys you want in your program tough that want to get out of there, tough guys. And uh, he fits that mold. He's an athletic tight end that can run. He's kind of a big receiver, tight body. And uh, those are the kind of guys that we look for uh, in our offense, too, because we like to get the tight end involved. And also on defense, Justin Wood West, our defensive end, he made second team all conference as well. So we're looking for big things out of him too. Um, talk about recruiting uh, this past year. You mentioned it briefly uh, earlier uh, in the fact that you're reintroducing the Central State program to a lot of coaches, high school coaches. Um, talk about recruiting. Uh, have you been able to fill needs that you, you need to feel like that you can take this team to the next level as far as the win-loss category? Yes, yeah, since I've been there, we've been able to add a few more linemen. And that's what we think the deficit has been. Uh, since I got there, we had uh, 18 guys that left the program this past year. Uh, so uh, we wanted to build depth at the line position on both sides, offense and defense. Because you know that's what a game is won anyway. Right, right. Yeah. Finishing up with Cedric Crow right now, head coach of the Central State Marauders. All right, uh, last year, Albany State and um, uh, you know, Miles College in the championship game. You guys trying to get there this year? You think you could get there this year? Well, we're just going to work to get better every day. That's, that's, that's the thing that we're, we're, we're uh, concerned about right now. The biggest thing is we're just worrying about going out, working hard, being consistent, and getting better every day. And we'll let that take care of itself. We don't like to make predictions. We just like to go to work.
from the Doubletree Hotel in Montgomery, Alabama, uh, by Hilton Hotel. Uh, Coach Pearl, thank you for the time. Thank you. All right.